I could get a lot more views on this channel if I promised you snow blizzards next week, snow bombs and all those words. But I'm not going to do that. My job is to give you accurate weather forecast for the UK, not the popular clickbait weather forecast. In this video, I'm going to break down why I don't break the 48 to 72 hour rule when forecasting snow for the UK. Keep watching to the end because I've got a question and I would like you to answer it. We start looking at the North Atlantic and European image at the moment and what I'm interested in is this 528 dam line. As of today, look, the 30th of December, it's not near the UK. Let's run the model. As of the 1st of January, 528 dam lines over Scotland, Northern England. And again, snow showers and snow for Scotland and the northeast coast. Some showers start to appear into the Midlands on the 3rd. That 528 dam line still over the UK by the 6th and the 7th. Then during the 8th it starts to move away towards Europe. It's moving eastward so anything that's coming down from the sky then is more than likely going to be rain except for Scotland. So I pay attention to that 528 dam line. If that is not over the UK I don't see any risk of snow. Now we're looking at the model with the build up of snow. See, there's nothing there at the moment. By the time we get to New Year's Day, some snow appearing, of course, over Scotland, Northern Ireland, and perhaps around the North West and the Midlands and Wales on Friday and Saturday. And this is where I wished I'd saved the image from yesterday. On the 8th of January, down in Devon and Cornwall and down the south there, it was showing 30 centimetres of snow. Where's that? No, it's not there. Four to six centimetres it's showing over the higher ground of Devon and Cornwall. Yes, a lot of snow there in the mountains in Scotland and across in Northern Ireland and parts of Wales but overall there's not that much snow cover over the UK other than those main places so this shows you why I don't get excited and start showing you images of ridiculous amounts of snow cover when the it's further away in 72 hours if the UK was where Moscow is, it would be dead easy to forecast snow. But for the UK, it's not. This is down to, we've got different weather fronts moving into the UK from over the sea. And we do get lots of different air masses over the UK as well, bringing different temperatures and moisture into the area. Well, I do hope you found that interesting and you understand why I don't break that rule. The question I want to ask you is, have you ever been told there's a snow bomb coming and blizzards and it's going to cause massive disruption to the UK? And when you wake up in the morning, open the curtains to see it raining. That's the reason I don't break the 72 hour rule. I like to see the snow falling down as much as anybody. But there's people out there You'll be frightened with words like this. They may have a hospital appointment. They may have to go somewhere. So, if you've enjoyed this, do me give me a great big thumbs up. And of course, I will keep this channel well updated with the up and coming wintry weather. Bye for now. Look after yourselves and those you love. BFN.